This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com. Who oh, what's up, people? Dobson was this right here, and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pack a Ring. Oh, the weather outside is boiling, ladies and gentlemen. Please check out GeekRetreat.com. They are amazing as always. And today, I know this is quite a while, long time ago that this got released, but this is the first time for me opening this up. Like I said, people, I like opening up stuff that has been that has been out for quite some time. So people can watch people open them up on day one and then just move on like normally. I like to open up stuff from the past. We're gonna open up some Speed Jewel GX Jewel Academy box. Now, at my timeline that this has been recorded, this is new. When this gets uploaded, this will be probably out of print or probably people do not care. So I've made myself a pact with it. I went to a special distributor to myself, Sally, yes, not from Geek Retreat, but somebody who sells old packs and luckily he still had a lot of speed jewel packs, so I pretty much outbought all of his packs. And Sally, he only had one pack of Tack from the Deep, which is one of my favourite speed jewel packs because I really want Monoray Greed out of this for one of my decks. But also though, you do have yourself some amazing cards from Joey and of course amazing cards from Yugi Moto. So you got I think around about, I think there's about, um, I don't know Matt, I don't know have a clue how many packs there is here. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 packs besides the GX box. So, like I said though people, we're going to look at the Speed Jewel GX box and then we're going to press on with them packs because that's what I'm going to do. So if you guys want to see them pack openings, just keep your ears and eyes a little bit wide open because this is the first time for me seeing this and I'll give you my rating on what I think about this box because the last few Speed Jewel deck boxes have been really good but not absolutely amazing. Of course, Battle City was fantastic, but I want to know more about this. Now, this I'm not happy with. Playmats. Ugh. They could at least made just one good playmat, you know, a plastic one, you know, a proper mat one like they did in Battle City and all them lot. Not Battle City Speed Jewel, but Battle City... Um, battle packs back in the day which they did do in America and England but whatever it is they cut him down more trees but anyhow you get yourself a whole pack of hollows here which we'll definitely look at and we got ourselves one two three four blocks and the rest of it looks empty by the look of it yep it's empty so we've got quite a bit to open up I will show you the play mat um, in standard play mat but it is quite huge. Yeah, it's quite huge. I am not showing you that. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. If you guys want to see that out, check that out. Please look it up on Google because it's quite easy. So we have ourselves pretty much as a massive mixture of everything. Oh, Yui Bell. That's nice. So we've got some Ancient Gear, Avion, Flare Wingman. Okay, okay. We'll, have a check. we'll check them all out. And like I said, these are Speed Jewel decks. So like I said, you can make them up anytime, any way you want. So... Let's open this up and let's see what are the hollows that you get in this box. So you get yourself Book of Moon, which is nice indeed, a secret rare. Armor Dragon level 7, very nice secret. Cyber Dragon, beautiful. DD Warrior Lady, that's actually really good as a secret. We got some um, Battle Chained Lum Lumination. Oh my god, Cyber Blader, Secret Rare, that is gorgeous. Ojama King, no surprise there. And Cyber End Dragon. Oh, they look amazing as Secret Speed Jewels. They're beautiful. We'll definitely sleeve these up right now before we look at the other cards in here. I do hope that there is some cards in here that I can actually use for future decks that I'll be building for my tournament because I am planning like if you guys want to know I've been working and building a Exodia deck and a burn deck and if you guys want to know what they consist of 
The um, burn deck is consists with Numerons, which is something unique, which I do like using. And the Exodia, I call it Exodia Troll because it has shark shark monsters and also crooked cook and omfg people it's really good but anyhow there's the secret rares i know that this pack opening will be a little bit longer but like i said depends on what we get in here and it might see my reaction and it might be good i don't have a clue what is in these in these cards so let's hope there's something good here so we've got cyber dragon haunted dragon proto cyber cyber phoenix cyber horn cyber edge cyber keel exploded dragon veil dark Claw, Polymerize, Dimension Corpse, Future Fusion, very good, Overlord Fusion, Impact, Trap Jammer, The Gardener, okay, this is actually a really good Cyber Dragon deck right there. So that's the Cybers by the look of it, which is um, Zane. So we got ourselves a Volcanic Doomfire, which I think, who was Volcanics again? Um... That was the guy, that was the black fella in GX. I don't remember his name. We've got Blazing Infinite, Charcoal, UFA Turtle, Spit of Flames, Raging Flame Spirit, Volcanic Shell, two of them, Blaster as well, and Hammer. There's Rocket, Royal Fire Storm Guards. Yeah, of course, pretty much all the fire cards you need. Covering Fire, Firewall. Oh, there's J Jade and Yugi right there. So we've got Jade and Yugi. Here is some is here goes something. We got ourselves Asta. We got powerful group of guys. Oh, there it is. Land of the Ojamas from Chaz Princeton and Dr. Crowler. Ancient Fusion. Cyberblade Fusion. Alexis Rose. We have Jesse, Crystal Transcendence. Forbidden Cyber Style Technique. There he is. It's Axel. I should knew that. Axel freaking fight Kingdom Hearts. Blaze, Deployment, another Jaden, Asta, Chaz, Dr. Crowler, and it's a continuous spell, that's good. Um, Machine Angel, Rainbow Crystal, Cyberdark Style. Hey, Bastion, that's good to see. And Cyrus, and a Hasselberry too. And of course, Yui Bell, that is a awesome card. That looks amazing. That I really, I really do love my character cards a lot, and I will be sleeving up the character cards. I'm gonna put them to the side to be honest, because that's something you guys don't really know them know most. So at the moment we got ourselves Cybers, we got ourselves Volcanics. This looks like a part of Elemental Heroes, so we'll definitely check them out in a second. How am I gonna open this up? Open, please. Open. Open. Okay, we'll pass that one for a minute. Can you please open? Please, you're embarrassing me. There we go. So it looks like we have Jaden Yugi stuff here. So we have Avion, Bustinitrix, Clayman, Sparkman, Third Eye, Karibo, Rottweiler, Bubbleman, Blade Edge, Wild Edge, Necro Shade, Polly, Fusion Sage, Army, Skyscraper, Recovery, The R, Negate Attack, Hero Signal. Now we got Destiny Heroes now, so we have ourselves Plasma, Doom Lord, Diamond Dude, Blade Master, Dash, it's about a £10 card, Flare Monarch, uh, Dogma, Malicious, two of them, Dark Angel, Polly, Reforcement Army, Dark City, D Spirit, Over Destiny, Night Beam, Destiny Signal, D Chain, D Counter, oh man, that's getting insane. We got Ojamas right here, Ojama Yellow. V Tiger Jet, the Mage, Armor Dragons, Wing Catapult, Ojama Red, Ojama Blue, very nice. Ojama Right, Try and Right. I thought that was Try and Guess there, and my god, that was the card I'm looking for. Nope, that's pretty cool there for Ojamas. So at the moment, we see about five decks in the mirror, but it looks like we might be getting around about maybe six decks, I think. I think it's six decks, or maybe eight, I'm not 100% sure. But the look of this big master brick, there might be eight decks. I'm not sure. But like I said, though, people, this is going to be a long video because we do got packs to open up as well. We've got ancient gear cards here. Not a, not a perfect ancient gear deck by the look of it. Not very big either. But still, though, very good. I'll take it. That's not bad. We got Alexis Rose, of course, with the fusion card, with the um, ritual cards. Cyber Tutor, one of my favorite cards. We got Bees in Eden and oh, Cyber Angel Izana. That's good to see. That never got really a print, I don't think. I don't think it ever got printed, so that's good to see. 
We've got Hollow Live, Paso Doble, Jar, so that's more of them ones. And then we have Rainbow, Dra Rainbow Cards, the Crystal Beasts, of course. And let's see, anything special from the Crystal Beast? By the look of it, no. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards right, eight decks right there. So what's this one in here consist of? Because this can't be just another deck. This is, must be consist of the all the decks all together. So these might be all the fusion cards that these decks need. So let's have a look here. So we have ourselves Flare Ringman. Thunder Giant, Rampard Blaster, Steam Healer, Br um, Dark Bright, Plasma Vice. That's very nice indeed for the Destiny for the Elements Heroes. Destiny Hero cards. We've got Destiny End Dragoon, Dis um, Dangerous. Only two of them. That's a bit of a bummer. Ojama King and VW Tiger Capital and Ojama Knight. That's good for the Ojamas. We got, of course, Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate. And that's the only one. What a bummer. Uh, Cyber Blader. Okay, only one for them. That's still a bummer. Um, Rainbow Overdragon. Okay, only one of them. Cyber End Dragon. Cyber Oak. Oh, yeah, that's definitely, of course, they'll get them. Um, hang on, what are these? Who's who's this deck? Live Koala Donzalus? Who's this deck? Oh... Oh, it's pretty much the, the massive nod to all the other characters in the game. That is nice to see. Because as you guys know, we got stuff from Cyrus. We got some from um, Chumley. With, of course, Big Koala and the man himself, Master of Oz. You have yourself Maximilian Pegasus Ancient Gear Golem from that, ma from that match in Season 2 or Season 3. Dark Rainbow Dark Dragon from the final part of the series. Some gyroids from Cyrus, um, um, stuff from Bastion. Wish there was Water Dragon, but never mind. But hey, that is a massive homage to the um, the whole series of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And once again, people, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX needs to make the dub version of Season 4 so we can actually end the series off. We never got Series 4 in the UK or in America, so... It ended off with a massive cliffhanger and then it just instantly moved on to Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, which I was not impressed with. But anyhow, you guys know what the hollow airs they were, so I'm going to put them to the side. Now we've got big packs right now. We've got a lot to open up and the first one I'm going to open up is this one. Like I said, there's only commons, there's supers and there's ultras. We want the supers and ultras, but you do not guarantee them, so... Let's hope we pull a good amount of them. And I really want the common card, Monterey of Greed, in this pack. Please be in here. Please. That's all I want from this pack. Monterey of Greed. Ah, oh, nope. Never mind. Nope, that's okay. But let's go ahead now. Let's speed through these. There's only four cards in a pack. The World First Edition. Let's hope we can get a Super or an Ultra. Mercy Knight. Shadow Grave, okay, nothing in that one. But like I said though, people, this month is going to be insane full of pack openings, so be prepared. Decoy, Decoyed Commander, not bad card. And this pack as well is called Arena of Lost Souls, so it's pretty much a lot of the cards from Yugi's set, but also some of the arch nemesis that he faced. Still no hollow there. Mm, this is not looking good, we do need some hollows here. Nice, we've got ourselves a Rapid Horseman, Half Shot, Gravekeeper, Common Charity. Oh, come on, don't tell me that the, the last packs he ever got were all common. Does that mean somebody weighed them? Oh, I God hope not. Limited Impulse. This is not looking good, folks. Harpy's Pet Dragon, very nice. Gravekeeper Ambassador, a zombie. Snake Hair, oh my God. God, no way. Don't tell me my luck is about to change now and we get nothing in this pack of me because we just opened up that amazing box of GX cards and we're going to get nothing. Oh my God, this is not good. This is really not good. How on earth? He had so many packs of these left. Nobody was touching them. And yet, I'm pulling nothing. You're supposed to get at least a super rare or something. 
And I've opened up quite a few of them already. Amazon is spy, good. Cray White Elephant. Oh my god, no way. We are not pulling our hollow yet. This is not good. This is not good. Oh my god, no way. This is bad, people. This is really bad. Really bad. Clown Zombie. Sword. Oh my god, no way. You post at least get at least a super rare. There's eight super rares and there's eight ultras, and all the rest of them are commons. Thirty-four commons in a pack in the in the set. Oh come on, at least get myself well, at least one hollow from this box. There we go. We get ourselves Meteor B Dragon. Not bad card to be honest, and it's a nice super rare as well. I'll take that. Very good. Oh, after a lot of packs, and we've only got four packs left of that on this side. Hopefully, Joey Wheeler gives us better pulls oh i can finally calm down a little bit then i was gonna panic there veil of danis block decoy oh yeah we get ourselves the ultra rare sphere karibo come on very nice indeed i'll take that i love it oh that is nice sphere karibo an ultra rare now they're coming in that was weird that they were right at the bottom, to be honest, because I've been literally shuffling these packs up randomly as anything. Horseman, there we go. So an Ultra and a Super Rare out of the Yu-Gi-Oh! packs of Speedjill, which, to be honest, I cannot complain. That's not bad. Nice! We got straight to the grave, and this is Bones card. Very nice. Good Super Rare right there. I'll take them. I love my skill cards. Final pack of Yugi's Speed Jewel. Now tell me this, people, in your in the comments down below. Do you guys want more stuff from Speed Jewel, or should it just full-on disappear and extinct? To be honest, I really want them to keep on going, because I really do like Speed Jewel. I know it's not what people want, because you can't play your normal cards in it, but that's the gist of it. Start new, start fresh, start from the old days. It's a lot of fun. I enjoyed it, and of course, a lot of people are going to start it as well. We're now on Joey Wheeler's st stuff now, so let's see what we can get. Slot machine, okay. So at the moment, we got ourselves two supers and one ultra rare. Can we get anything good out of this pack? Nothing. But still, though, like I said, Speed Jewel cards can be used in the normal TCG and OCG, so there's nothing to complain about. Nice dark red enchanter. Very nice indeed. It's a good card for your um, Dark Magician deck, to be honest, and your red eyes. I'll take that. So, yeah, you can use Speed Jewel cards in TCG and OCG. So, I can't see why people would be complaining because some of these cards never got released in TCG and OCG. So, the only way to get them is from. Speed Jewel, so get them. Well, sadly you can now. Oh, nice. Shame it's just a common though. Beginning of the end, very good card. Even though these are now out of print, and like I said, if you find these, definitely get them because they actually are hard to come by. Fortress Rail, Fire Reaper, Mischief, and the Empress Mantis. A few packs left. We've got Factory, Blue Eyed Zombie, Circle. And another Saurus. Whew, come on. Gatekeeper, nice. The Peon Mantis. Aye! Servant of the Fallen King. Very nice. From Bones once again. Nice super rare. I'll take it. I do like Bones though. Bones was actually a really cool character from the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Very misunderstood. Not a lot of people like him. And to be honest though, there is a person in Geek Retreat who actually uses pretty much his deck in tournaments and to be honest it is smoking it is really good and nice we get ourselves a troop dragon super rare i'll take that so yeah he um he actually uses a gravekeeper's deck and it's so damn dangerous I struggle to beat him, and to be honest, I struggle to beat anybody, to be honest, because I'm I'm pretty much grandpa in the real life Yu-Gi-Oh. Can build a deck, can get good cards, but can't use them to, to save my life, <laughs> to be honest. 
Another Sorus. We've got four packs left, people. What can we get to end it all off? Eternal Rest, that's good. Great Keeper and Fire Reaper. A lot of zombie cards, though, which is good to know. Three packs left. Fire Reaper, Launch a Spider, Pendulum, Blasphere. Mm, mm, mm. Next pack, come on, what can we get? We got the Frightening Car, Silver Zombie, Seven Complete, and Commander Knight. Final pack of Destiny, people. What can we get out of the final pack? To be honest, though, I do not mind, though. We pulled five Supers and one Ultra. Cannot complain at all. Let's end it off with a hollow, though, as always. Security Orb, Saurus, Plant. There we go! Oh! Ultra Rare Book of Moon! That is nice! Very nice indeed. I'll sleeve that up. I tell you what, though, people, I cannot complain there. Five Supers and two Ultrates from Speed Jewels. Mmm, I'll take that any day. So, before we do say goodbye, here is the pulls that we pulled. I'm not going to show you the ones from the um, box again because you guys have seen them. So, we've got Meteor B Dragon, Troop Dragon, Servant of the Fallen King. Dark Red um, Encharter and Straight to the Grave. And therefore, Ultra Rares, we get ourselves the Book of Moon and Sphere Karibo. If you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you smash the like button as always. What do you guys, like I said, answer the question like I just said. Do you guys like Speed Jewel? Should it disappear or should it just get some new support cards for a new set for us lot to enjoy? I think they should, and I think you should join Speed Jewel more often, people. With that being said, the people I'm still going to see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Oh man, that was amazing! I like getting these, these are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!